Hey everybody, how's it going? We're here, it's Friday, and I'm glad you're all drawing, joining me for some drawing. Uh, I don't know how the food situation's been going for all of you, but uh, tonight we're gonna have spaghetti, and I'm very excited. Speaking of spaghetti, do you know what you call a fake noodle? An impasta. So, why don't we do a little drawing? What do you say? All right, you're gonna need a pencil, a pen, a marker, a uh, chicken leg that you could dip in some barbecue sauce. Maybe you could draw with that. Doesn't matter, get what you want, and we're gonna do some drawing together. First, we're gonna do a little you draw it. Now, you draw it is where I draw a line, and then you have to follow along and draw with me, okay? I check the chat here and see how everybody's doing. Hi, everybody, let's see, we got Chris, we got Paco, Sam, Ready for dad joke. I just did the dad joke. That's right. Uh, listen, I got to keep those coming. They're popular. All right. So if you're ready to draw, let's get right to it. And the first thing we're going to do is a triangle. Are you ready? Here it comes. Triangle. Triangle. We're going to do like this. And this is going to be kind of a narrow triangle. So watch me do this here. And then you follow along, okay? There we go. Just uh, connect the area at the bottom, and that's the start of our drawing. Everybody with me so far? A little triangle, not too hard, right? Now, for this next part, it's gonna be kind of like I'm continuing this line straight for a while, but I'm, then, I'm gonna kinda of curve it at the end, watch. I come down, and then just kinda of curve it a little bit. Just a hair. Same on the other side, down, and then kinda of just curve it like that, alrighty. There you go. Now, this next bit. Couldn't be easier, are you ready? Very shallow C curve, and I'm gonna come right to the middle of the hat. Now here's a trick you can use. Remember, you can make yourself a little mark there so you have something to aim for. And a C curve up. And you guessed it, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. A C curve down. Okay, so we've got a lot of symmetry going on with this drawing so far, a lot of symmetry. Now that line I just drew over here, that little C curve, I'm gonna carry that out a little farther, just like that. And then do the same thing on the other side, like so. Okay. Now I'm gonna make myself another little dot. And it's gonna be pretty far away here, but I'm gonna line it up with the center of my drawing. So I'm gonna come down here to about maybe say there. That's probably a good spot. Remember, everything I do, if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, don't sweat it, don't worry about it, no big deal, no problemo, it's going to look fine. Now here comes a C curve. I'm gonna aim for right here, watch this. Curving up to there. There you go. Same on the other side, curving up, and bang. That's where I'm gonna stop. Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna follow along the contour of that line here on the outside, watch this. I'm gonna come down and stop right about there. It doesn't have to be identical, right? Just close, same on the other side, down to about there. See if we have any guesses as to what we're drawing here. If you have, oh, I see, there's one guess, an elf. Yeah, it's kind of a good guess there, I tell you what. Could be something like that. Now we're gonna connect these, so watch here. I'm just gonna connect, and there you have it. All right. Okay, now, this next bit is kind of interesting. We're gonna do a long, wavy line. So watch this, I'm gonna go wavy, 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 and stop about there. So this is longer, this line is longer than anything we've drawn yet. And remember, you can always pick up your pencil or your pen or your marker or whatever. You don't have to draw it all in one big long swoop, right? You can always just pause for a moment, pick it up, find your spot, and then carry on again. I wanna do the same thing on the other side. And it can help if you give yourself a little mark to aim for. So let's see, I think about there looks pretty good to me. Now I can shoot for that. So I'm gonna aim and go one, two, three, wavy, wavy. 
If you have more waves on one side than the other, who cares? Not a problem. Do not worry about it. Alrighty. Now, here we go. I'm going to take this left area here and I'm going to carve down this way and then cut in that way. Okie dokie. Alrighty, let's see. Do we know what we're, we're doing? A princess, somebody said. Good guess. Stephen Booth says a wizard, question mark. <laughs> I'll never tell. All right, we're going to come out this way. Stop right about there. Okay. And now I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to interrupt that line like this. Stop about there. Okay. And then I'm going to go a little farther and stop right about there. Now that area where I stopped first, watch this. C curve, very shallow. See that one? Shallow, shallow C curve, pretty long one too, right? And we're gonna connect that to here, this spot right here, with another C curve, watch. C curve, stop, just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna come up from here like this and stop right there. And now here comes a hand. Now you know that trick we use sometimes to draw hands where we just go out, stop. And then we go one, two, a little longer, three, about the same length, four, a little shorter. And then we connect right here to the wrist. And there's the hand. Now, for this other part of the sleeve, watch this. There we go. Alrighty. Now, what about this other arm over here? Hmm, what do we do? Well, take the hand out this way. See that? Just a little bit of a curve to that line. And come out this way and curve that way. See that? Then I'm going to cut in. And now, watch this. I'm going to draw a line down like that. All right. And then here, I'm just going to curve it around like that. And we have a hand holding a magic wand. Hmm. Now, what about up here? Watch this. Here comes a V. V. Just like that. And then a line this way and another line that way and now just a simple line straight across like this ready straight across that's it so sure enough this is a wizard now down here at the bottom I'll show you a little trick okay we're going to come across for a little ways and then stop all right skip a little space come across stop skip a little space come across and stop like that why do we leave that space there i'll show you because we're going to do a little curve here and a little curve uh, there all right and then a little v one v two these and there you have the feet poking out at the bottom of his robe now, here's another little trick you can do. A little line like this, a little line like that, and then one in between that looks like that. All right, now this is kind of suggesting that the fabric at the bottom that's covering his feet is getting wrinkled down there, right? It's got some folds in it. All right, simple move here. We're gonna do a little line at the top of this line, and then one right beneath it. Okay, and then we're going to have a little line coming down this way, C curve, and up, and then another one next to it that's shorter. And that's a nice little detail, right? And you can just do a couple of lines here to suggest that maybe something is tied like that. That's a fun detail. All right, now for another cool detail, Watch what we do with the hair. We're just going to follow the same line, come down, 
and come down. And then we come down again and come down again, just like that. Beard, I'm gonna come up from the bottom and stop early like that. Same here, same here, see this? Nice little details. So there you have your wizard. Now, of course, there are so many things you could do to make this wizard your own, right? For example, you can decorate his costume with stars or swirls or all kinds of things, right? What about magic? What about if I want to do this? I could do a sort of uh, some lines coming away from his hand like that. And then maybe some swirling kind of wavy lines around like that to say, ooh, he's in the middle of doing something magical, right? That's something you could do. Decorate his hat. Give his hat something coming off the top, right? Lots of different things you can do. Give some stripes to his sleeves there. Like, that's an idea, right? You can do so many things with this wizard to make the wizard your own design, right? So while you're thinking about that, I want you to start thinking about an animal and an activity because we're going to do one of my favorite things, which is where you suggest an animal and an activity, and then I have to try and draw it in just a matter of a few minutes, which is very challenging. But I'm up for the task. So think about uh, your wizard, but now I want you to also be thinking about animals, think about activities, think about things they could be doing, things they could be holding, things they could just be um, engaged in in a very normal way. For example, uh, you know, if an elephant is playing a game of checkers, that's something you see every day. So perfectly fine to suggest something like that. Um, all right, let me see now. I'm going to check the chat. What tablet do you use? Good question. I'm using a Wacom Cintiq 22-inch. Um, this model is two years old now. Very nice tablet. I've always loved the uh, Wacom products. Been using them since 1998, if you can believe that. So it's been a while since I started using those. Um, any other questions? Let's see. Sam says, I see a wizard, but it's going to be something else. Nope, I didn't do any fooling this week, but next week I might get up to my old tricks. Um, a mouse using a human as a mouse pad on a computer. Great idea, a little complex, I think, for this exercise, but I think it's interesting. Thanks, Chris. All right, let's see what else we have. A dog playing the piano. I haven't done a piano drawing yet, have I? In all these episodes, holy cow. Hmm, I like that one. A dog playing piano. Uh, Kyle, are you intentional with your line use amount of lines? Absolutely, yes, yes. I try and conserve with these kinds of drawings. Um, less is more for these, I think. Good question. A pig. A pig doing what? Which brush do you use? Oh, I just gave it away. It's free. You can grab it anywhere, anytime you like on um, uh, gumroad.com slash Kyle T. Webster. You'll see it's, it's called the, um, I've already forgotten the name of it, the Doozy Inker. And that's the, I, I, people kept asking me for this brush, so I decided just, hey, go grab it. Um, all right, well, it's going to be the dog playing the piano, I think. We have a rooster mowing the lawn. That's pretty interesting as well. A rhino sharpening his horn, but like Greece, John Travolta style. <laughs> all right. That's funny. Um, okay, dog playing the piano. So let me think about this. Dog playing the piano, dog playing the piano. Sketch time, folks. That means i got to use a light color, right, and get my shapes down. So here we go. Um... Let's do this. We're going to do a little perspective here. So piano is going to be here. There we go. And there's the keys to the piano coming forward. And uh, da -da 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 get those like so. And then we need our doggy dog. So we got to get the dog in there as well. Okay, so for the dog, hmm, I put these on legs, we'll see. All right, now, the dog, here we go. One hand, or should I say paw? Of course I should, it's a dog. And I think the ears will be up, and he'll be kind of looking at us, like, hey, what do you think about my playing? Pretty good, right? There we go. So there's our dog. 
looking our way. One hand there. And the other one maybe gonna be up like this. And he's gonna be scooched back like this. And one foot on pedals. And the other one back. All right, so we're gonna draw that piano bench that he's sitting on. Maybe he'll just be sitting on a stool. That'd be kind of fun. Maybe the stool is kind of like angled because he's in so much, he's so into the music and he's just like tipping forward on the stool. Put the other foot maybe outside that stool. There we go. This foot will be lower down here. And this one back there. Okay. Maybe he's got some sheet music, right? Alrighty, how about that? What do you think? Decent sketch? I think that'll have to work out for us now. So, piano keys, we'll only see kind of the um, the side view here. We won't really see much else just because of the perspective that I've chosen here, right? That makes sense. And... Actually, I think I'm not going to use a leg there. I'm just going to have this disappear into space since the sign of a piano isn't the most interesting thing. I think it'd be funny if his tongue was sticking out. <laughs> Alrighty. I think we're ready to go to line art. Make sure I've got my arms looking good there. That feels pretty good. All right, so I've got a few minutes to knock out the uh, line art, and then we're gonna do a little art tip for you. How's that sound? All right, let's give it a shot. So we'll reduce the opacity of this a little bit so I can draw over it. And I'm gonna use that same color I was using before. And here we go, folks. One and a two. And there's one eye. And there's another. Now, let's get that big nose in there. Go down and around. And you all just talk amongst yourselves while I do this. But be nice. Can't make fun of me while I'm sweating here, trying to get this knocked out. Okay. Hey, by the way, if you all have any good, clean dad jokes, you can share those in the chat. I'm always looking out for more of those. And I'm sure people would love to read them. Alrighty. How about a collar on this shirt? I like that. I like that. Shoulder down, arch that back. I just feel like he's playing jazz, right? Because of this pose and everything. There we go. All right, now one hand. And you get that pinky in the front. This finger's bent up, right? Got some piano looking hands. Fingers are gonna be all over the place. Think about what happens with fabric, right? How it bends when your body bends. That's something I'm thinking about when I draw these all the time. We're gonna have that stool rocking. Put one leg there, one leg here, and one there. And another one back there. A little shadow under there, right? That helps to sell the illusion that um, we're dealing with real space here, right? 
one shoe over here and the other foot like I said is going to be hanging out back here just behind the stool because I think that's just that's dynamic I like the way that looks okay little shadow here and we just got to throw in some petals that's okay and now for the keyboard come out this way and that way foreshortening right folks foreshortening and perspective an artist's best friend all right come out this way for the top of that piano and then we got to get that uh, music stand some music boop, 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 boop. see how you simplify stuff you gotta simplify right make it manageable get that other arm up get a thumb here one finger and another one behind it and the keys all come in this way Got those black keys. You're just going to see little bits and pieces of them, okay? And I think we need just a few action lines. One of my favorite things, right? Action lines. So why don't we hide our sketch for a minute? See how we're doing. Not bad, not bad. I think this is working out, okay? Let me know in the chat. What you think? All right, action line time. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, look at me. I'm a dog playing the piano. All righty, what do you think, folks? Not bad, okay. Well, why don't we take this little guy and slide him over here and do a quick art tip before we sign off for the day. And here is my tip for you all. When you're drawing a character, Okay, you know, sometimes it's hard to decide, well, where do I put the eyes and where do I put the nose and how do I keep it all looking good? Well, look, maybe this is the oval I'm using, okay, for the head of a character. Do yourselves a favor. If it's looking straight at you, go ahead and make a line down the middle, okay, and go ahead and bisect it both ways. So then now if I decide, okay, well, I'm going to draw an eye here, I don't have to be guessing about lining up the eye over here because I've got lines to guide me, right? I can use those lines to guide me. And what about getting the nose in the middle? Well, I don't have to worry about that either because I've got a line to guide me and a line for the mouth. See how helpful that is? That really makes a big difference. Makes your job a lot easier as an artist. You're not having to do all that guesswork, okay? And go ahead and do this light, right? and maybe use your eraser or something. And then you come back over it and say, oh goody, now I can really make sure that everything feels lined up nicely, right? This will make your lives so much easier, I'm telling you. Don't do guesswork where you don't need to do guesswork. Use these little tricks to line things up for yourselves because it makes such a big difference. And I'll tell you something else, Professionals, they do this all the time. Don't think they're so perfect drawing all their perfect lines all the time. Oh no, no siree. They're always using little helpful things like this to make their lives easier. I promise you. It's not something that uh, you have to feel ashamed about. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, so yeah, take it from me. This is This is the way to go. Alrighty, so I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good week. We're at the end of the week here and it's time for everybody to just take a load off, go into the weekend, easy breezy and relax, read a good book and maybe do some drawing, right? Grab a piece of paper and just sketch and doodle and see what comes out of it. You never know. Go back and watch one of these shows. They're all archived, right? Behance.net slash live slash students. You can find all of these drawings 
You can copy them all over again. You can pause anytime you want, right? Take your time. So have fun with that as well. And I want to hopefully uh, hang out with you guys again next week. So um, I guess I'll see you then. And everybody be good. Everybody take care. And um, what else is there to say? Happy drawing. Be safe. Be healthy. And I'll see you next time.